We're in St. Isabella in the library. There we go. There we go. And we are currently doing an easy robot presentation. We're programming an easy robot. Kind of like a hands-on kind of demonstration. I'm figuring out how to program robots. We're learning about easy robots and how to program them. We're getting taught how to control robots from computers and it's pretty fun. <laughs> Normally people think robots like there's some complicated thing, but like these are really easy. I thought that it was going to take way, way longer than this to actually program anything. <laughs> it's something so basic that can do so much. I could probably spend hours on end trying to like adjust and make new things. It's so fun to do. You just like tell it to do simple commands pretty much and they do them. If this is how easy it is to make it do something like this, then what if we did something more complicated? It was actually pretty easy. I was expecting it to be harder. But then again, I guess it shouldn't consider it's called easy robot. Well, we got to do like the YMCA actions for the song and dance and stuff like that. We tried to get our robot to moonwalk. <laughs> Basically, if you just say Swagbot Dancer to the computer, Swagbot Dancer. Our robot, which we have called Swagbot, will dance. He does the sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really, uh, really funny on a robot, but it's awesome. That's the sprinkler. All you gotta do is just move like the things on the computer to make the robot move. For example, we made the sprinkler move so we had to move like move the arms so, so it was like this in the computer. I didn't think that it would have enough balance to do a headstand. That really surprised me. And also the push-ups. I thought it would just make flap on its stomach right away. I think it would make a lot of kids interested in engineering, computers, and stuff like that. It was really interesting, and and, and I'd like to do it. I'd like to do it as like maybe a career. When I grow up, I want to like kind of build with these things and kind of like make them, and, and kind of like program them and stuff and help with that. And that would be better down the road for uh, us when we're grown up to like get a better career and advance in that career. Maybe in the future, like it'd be something good to have like firefighting or like taking blood or like checking somebody's temperature. Probably helping like deliver stuff. Clean houses. You could use it as a personal assistant, obviously. Make me a cup of hot chocolate and bring it to me. You could play games with it. They can work in factories or, you know, fast food stores or something. Skyscraper window cleaning. We won't even have to go to school. We'll just send the robots there. <laughs> and we'll be able to see through them, speak through them. And maybe patrolling for like, uh, in case there's like any criminals around, because those would be really useful for getting the bad guys out of the way. And honestly, I picture that within my lifetime, of having it like robots everywhere, helping us out, making society easier and life easier. There's a lot of possibilities about them, yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.